Moving right along, let's get started with the side burner. We need to attach the front of the side burner to the side burner itself. Flip it upside down and as you can see, these small self-tapping screws make this part of the job a piece of cake. Flip the side burner over and this is what the top should look like completely assembled. Let's attach it to the grill. It attaches with four bolts to the side of the grill right here. You screw the bolts in not quite all the way. Here, I'll go ahead and show you. Leaving those bolts in this configuration, as you can see, not quite completely screwed in, it makes it simple to slide the side burner right onto the side of the grill. This will be completely self-explanatory when you reach this part of the project. The side burner just slips onto those bolts, like so, and attaches to the side of the grill. And there you go, it's in place. Next, we need to attach the gas control knob. This assembly for the gas control knob slips through the back of that front side burner panel right here. It attaches through here with two small screws. Once you get it lined up and get it in place, it'll look like that on the back. And be sure to put the little metal cover on the front so it looks nice. And then it's simple. You just slip the knob into place. Really couldn't get much easier than that. This gas tube attaches to the side burner by being slipped through the top of the grill here. You got to remove that little grate and then just slip it into place. You line it up with the gas control knob and two small nuts from the underside hold it in place nicely. That part's completely done. This is the igniter underneath that side burner. You should have a piece of wire with your grill that attaches right here. It just slips right onto that little connection. Pretty simple. The other end connects right here, which is at the front of the grill in the center, behind that front center panel. It just slips into place as well. Just like that. Two little slide connections and all your igniters are completely hooked up. Here we have the bare gas burner bars. These are going to need to be covered up. Good thing they give us three nice covers that slip easily into place. By this time you should have a variety of different grill grates that you're probably wondering where they all go. Well it's a good thing you're watching this video because I'm about to show you where they all go. Keep in mind, these are different sizes, so getting them in the right spot is kind of important. The small, raw metal grate goes here, in the smoker box. The grate with the beveled metal attached to the bottom of it goes in the charcoal section. Your long, skinny grates go in the smoker box, at the top this time and your remaining four grates, all of similar size, fill up the charcoal and gas section of the grill. So breaking it down, this is the gas section of the grill. This is the charcoal section of the grill. And this is the side smoker box. All your grates should be looking perfect. You might have noticed a battery in your package. It goes right here. You simply unscrew this little knob, you slip the battery in, positive side out, and you screw the knob back on. That's for your igniter. We've got a couple holes here in the top of the grill, one on each side. Sure would be nice to know what the temperature is inside this thing. Wait a second. Didn't they give us some temperature gauges? Oh, there they are. They screw in the top quite simply. They fit into place with a locking nut on the inside, so you can kind of tweak it to get it the right angle that you want it when you're viewing your thermometers. And that's it. Believe it or not, you've already assembled your Oklahoma Joe's Longhorn 3-in-1 grill. 
still not sure why people complain about putting these things together. Whoops, let's not forget about that drip pan underneath. Let's get that slid in place. There we go, get it lined up. Final piece of the puzzle. And here's a final overall view of the grill. Now, I haven't bought a grill in over 15 years, so I gotta admit, I was kinda surprised that they don't come with propane tanks anymore. Luckily, as you've watched this video, you may have noticed that I've got a couple of those lying around on the background. Lucky for me, I guess. I gotta say that this is absolutely a beautiful grill, and I'm hoping to get years of use out of it. And I'll show you how that goes as time goes on. Thanks for watching. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up like if you found this video helpful or humorous. Either way.